When we began this journey in 2010 by drafting the Resolution 70 of the ITU, we could not envision the huge support and the effects that the project will have. The resolution calls on all the member states to celebrate and denote the girls in ICT Day on every fourth Thursday in April and to invite the girls to change their behavior patterns and their ideas about what they can be when they grow up so as to include the information and communication technologies as their career choice. In Serbia in 2011, we celebrated Girls in ICT Day for the first time and had 500 young women from all across country participate in the celebrations. Ten companies supported this day and opened their offices, labs, production facilities and introduced these young women to the wonder of ICT. The feedback we received from the participants and companies was amazing and we decided to try and do more. So last year in October, we proposed to the ITU Council that the whole of 2012 is the year of girls and women in ICT. We received a unanimous support, and the year of 2012, indeed, is the year of girls and women in ICT, and this year's World Summit on Information Society as a theme has girls and women in ICT. This year in Serbia, just like in 2011, we welcomed more than 300 girls from elementary schools from all across the country. The celebrations began with a visit to one of the leading companies in the industry, Cisco, Telenor, Ericsson, Vipmobile, Telecom Serbia, IBM, Huawei, Hewlett-Packard, Intel, Microsoft and Oracle. Here the girls learned how exciting and thrilling a career in technology is. Later, the girls visited one of the technical faculties of the Belgrade University, toured the university premises and learned what it was like to be a girl studying technical sciences. We finished the day with a central celebration where we awarded the winners of the most ICT girl competition. The competition this year included the creativity of the girls as they had to answer why I love the internet and what do I use my mobile phone for? with a small video taken with their mobile phone. The winners received valuable prizes from the companies participating in the celebration. Girls in ICT Day ended with a career mixer party which allowed for 200 female university students to meet and talk to the ladies from participating companies. The party ended with an award ceremony for the most ICT uni girls competition. There was huge buzz on the social media as well, especially on Twitter. However, today we are still at the beginning of this journey. Imagining our lives without the ICTs today is impossible. Imagining further development of the information and communication technologies without the input of women and girls is equally impossible. Join us in offering the huge and thrilling opportunities that the industry can give to the girls, and equally so that the girls can give to the information and communication technology.